Welcome to Uncle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. And one of the best TMNT games out there, Splintered Fate, is back in the news again because we're going to be getting expansions, more uh, console releases, as well as new features added into the game here. And um, it just goes to show what a great success this particular TMNT game has been. Now, if you're not familiar with Splintered Fate, it was originally on the Apple Arcade, then it came over to the Nintendo Switch, and that's the only places you can find it at the moment. But it's a Hades style game, but it's set in the TMNT universe with a, uh, a great gameplay mechanic, a great gameplay play loop as well as a comic book that's even based after it so a overall good TMNT story to boot after all of that and um, it just really is a great Haiti style game that I can't recommend enough now um, the roadmap that they put out here for the game it says coming 2024 2025 so a little bit of time here um, as far as like when some of this expansion stuff is coming but they are going to expand it first to the PC and Steam Deck which is a huge deal here because it's going to expand the player base a lot who can actually play through a splintered fate because not everyone was signed up on the uh, iphone and not everyone had the nintendo switch and so it's going to really expand out who can actually play this game new features gonna be coming it says uh, online matchmaking which is a huge plus you don't have to play with just your friends anymore uh challenges as well as leaderboards and this kind of game here as far as um you know working toward high scores or uh, speed runs a leaderboard is a really cool feature on this and will add a lot of um, replayability to the game itself it also says exciting dlc which is honestly what i am most excited about because i've beaten the base game several times it says new playable characters and if i was going to guess they're probably going to go with like casey jones or april o'neill i know at one point they dabbled with the uh, mutant frogs on the apple arcade version and so maybe they're going to do something to mutant frogs um, i'd love to see people like mondo gecko in there that'd be like my dream come true but uh, who knows what they're going to do with the new playable characters i mean there's so many to choose from in the turtle universe new levels new enemies new bosses it also says new original uh, TMT stories. So my guess here is what they're going to do is going to keep the base game the same and they're going to start adding in, um, I guess, like side stories that you can go on. And maybe you have like multiple expansions planned out, maybe um, two or three stories, and you can just sort of go into that story mode and you get to fight through all these new enemies, these new um, bosses, uh, new levels, all basically coordinated around that particular story. And then you come back to the hub world. So you can sort of get to choose like which adventure you want to go on. That's my guess of what they're going to do because the base game itself is already created. And so they sort of just have to, um, you know, create smaller sprites or new sprites for these enemies and uh, new levels to go through. And I really feel like it'd be pretty easy to do a, a new DLC. I don't think they're going to try to reinvent the wheel. They're just simply going to um, create more of what they've already created with the base game engine. And I'm very excited for that when it comes to those new levels and those new stories. It also mentions on here many more surprises. Who knows what they're going to do for that? Um, I'm definitely excited to see. And it also says further console expansion. Stay tuned for uh, more news. So, I'm, I mean, the only ones that are left, are, I guess, is like the PS5 and the Xbox um, Series X and or Series S, whichever one you have. And so um, I really can't imagine they're talking about any other consoles besides that. Maybe they're talking about putting it on like the Android phones because it's already on the Apple phones. I don't know. Obviously, the, the meat here is going to be the uh, exciting DLC. The new features is cool, but the new DLC is what's going to really keep this game alive. And I feel like if they keep servicing the game and putting out smaller DLCs, I feel like the game could stay alive for many more years to come. I know me personally, I enjoyed the game to the point where I would pay for multiple DLCs of new TMT stories because the story writing was really good here. And that gameplay loop of getting more story every time you die um, is a great gameplay loop. And so keep the original stories going, bring in new levels, new TMT enemies. And um, I will play this game for many years to come. And I'll be happy to drop, you know, five, ten dollars for every expansion that they put out for it. I am just glad to see what I think one of the best TMT games out there to continue to get this love and support. And I'm so glad it was such a success on the Switch that they're actually going to be bringing in uh, more here. And so I wish this corporation all the best and I'm glad they are supporting the game. And I'm glad all TMT fans are also supporting a wonderful Turtles game. And I know a lot of times people say like, well, you should support your franchises, but it's easier to support your franchise when they put out a great product. And this is an example of a franchise that I support anyway, putting out a great product so there's no reason not to support this particular game i know it sounds like i'm doing an ad for it here i have no sponsorship i have no uh, connection to the game at all i just really enjoy it and i want you to enjoy it as well but if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel check my other videos listed up above and go out there find a great game to play simply have a great rest of the day